All right, so what are we looking for? Who was behind this? Who actually pulled the trigger? Who, you know, who got this guy to do it? Was there some bigger thing going on? Okay, you ready? Let's do this. Okay, so this is cards on who pulled the trigger and who was behind the person who pulled the trigger. Was this real? Was the blood on Trump's face real? Was all this real or was it somehow staged? Let's take a look. Okay, so this is for who was behind this event that happened at the Trump rally today. Okay. Well, I was not expecting that. That's a six of cups. So, this, by the way, this represents us, the uh, the community that supports Trump. I don't know why these are upset. Six of swords. Nine of swords. Well, I got my cards all turned about here. Who was he? So we got all minor arcana here. So it, it looks from this that the person who actually pulled the trigger was an individual working alone. Okay. And, but he was being guided by like um i want to say by the universe and I, this was something that was meant to be <clears throat> the moon and judgment this is like <clears throat> to expose things that have been hidden and create a great awakening and bring bringing people look the outcome is bringing people together left and right coming together this is going to galvanize so many people from the left I think maybe this is going to get them to see that we, that is the, uh, you know, those of us who support Trump and, and see the, the deeper things going on behind it, we are here to help humanity try to make this transition into a new world. Okay, and and it looks like this event is going to do a lot to bring bring the left and right sides of the political aisles together. That's the outcome. <clears throat> as far as like who this was, I think he was alone. I think he was um, alone. Uh, I don't I don't think he was working with anybody or any group. Um, but he was definitely a this was like just something that was destined to happen. All right, that's what I'm getting from this. Let me see. Let me open. Would you please ask the cards if this happening is one of the final events to wake up? Yeah. All right. So that's that's a good way. I'm going to look at. And and actually, the the cards did say that this is going to bring people together. All right. Hold on a second. My cards got all twisty, so I want to put them straight, and then I'm going. I'm going to ask, what will this, what effect will this event have on all the people who are on the fence? So I'm not talking about like the the diehard blue-haired uh, lefties who will never change their minds, but like a lot of our African-American brothers and sisters who are starting to, to lean towards Trump or anybody else that was leaning towards Trump and, uh, you know, away from Biden. What effect is this going to have on the fence sitters and the those on the left who are beginning to wake up?
I meant to say, honey and I didn't see that. Didn't see what. All right. So here we go. I'm going to, this is. Okay. So there are, there are a lot of people who are starting to move from the left towards Donald Trump and they were maybe sitting on the fence. A lot of them all were Democrats or Republicans who maybe were not going to vote or were on the fence. What has this event done to, to sway those who are undecided? This is for um, the upcoming contest in November, November 6th, when we all put our ballots in the box. What did this do to sway people to our side in the world well they they right from the start so this this position is those of us who are in you know on 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 the side of trump and it looks like he's just captured everybody the world the hierophant Oh, it's going to be a, a swell of emotion. And I would say from the established. So this would be people who are, I would say this is like the, the establishment of the Democratic Party. Like the uh, the organization, like you could see. Um, yeah, okay. And people starting to stand up and think for themselves. So it's going to cause people to really start breaking away from what well, traditionally they may have followed and and follow their own way so and this is going to be exposing how the cabal has been in control of the system and and it's so it is going to wake people up it's really going to wake people up and get people to start thinking for themselves no longer uh, i'm i'm guessing that because i heard uh already in the mainstream news they were playing it down some people say trump fell down this was in like mainstream news not that he had you know they were trying to make it sound like it was just an event something happened so i think people are going to see that and get people to stop being bored and stop getting, you know, sitting on the fence, sitting on the sofa and not paying attention and uh, to really start thinking for themselves. Uh, so, so yeah, it's, and it's this emotion. This is what's going to carry people a, a lot. Of, a lot of people are going to watch that scene of Trump pumping his fist with blood on his face. And it's going to, those emotions are, really going to wake people up so yeah i wonder if there's even going to be anybody to stand against trump come november i mean what happens if the Democratic Party falls apart so drastically that um, they don't even have anybody to put against Trump. What happens in a case like that? Does anybody know? So let's see. So who is going to be there to uh, run against Mr. T? Is Joe Biden going to make it that far, or will it be somebody else, or will there be nobody there? Will he run uncontested? This is what Utsava was saying for a long time.
Hmm. See, there's that military card again. Okay, so this card came up when I first looked at the event that happened today, and it said it's going to bring everybody together. I'm getting like sun. Trump is, what is this? I don't, I don't think with two fives, I think everybody is, there's going to be so much love and light and, and support now for Mr. T that I don't think the left is going to have anybody. It's going to be everybody coming together. It's like, I mean, he's probably going to get like 90% of the vote or something. I think that's what's going to happen. Who's running against him now? Maybe three. They might try to get other people. Okay, so it looks like they're going to, it looks like they're going to try to get a woman. Maybe this is Kamala. Camel law, camel too. Uh, maybe they're gonna. So I think this is what's gonna happen. They're gonna take Joe out for whatever reason. They've got many, and they're gonna try to get a woman to come in, or there might be uh, three different people, probably women, that they're looking at trying to get to replace. Uh, Joe and Kamala because we know Kamala can't run because of her nationality status right? even though I have never heard them talking about that on mainstream I don't think she could ever take the, the position Will Biden step down next week? You know, I don't think we can put a, a time limit on it like that, but I think he is going to be gone from the cards that I just drew here. And I think they're going to try to replace him. I think they're going to try to replace him with more than one. They're going to try one and that won't work. They'll try another one. That won't work and they'll try a third. I think they're going to try to get three different people to replace them maybe we should ask Pelosi yeah. <laughs> hermit card uh, I don't have the hermit card but uh, I did this card came up for us uh, our higher selves Mm -hmm. Well, look, this card's come up twice now as the outcome regarding how this is going to affect people and the election. I, I think we're going to see huge amount of support now coming for Mr. T. I mean, those images of him standing up and pumping his fist and blood running down his face. Boy, that's some history right there. So glad I woke up early this morning to be a part of this. I'm sorry this uh, this broadcast has been so chaotic and uh, hard to watch, probably. But uh, I'm counting on you guys to help me out with uh, more questions here. I, I don't think it's relevant to ask if that was the real Trump. Well, why not? 
I don't know. I kind of don't like that question. I don't know why. My intuition's telling me that was the real one. The look on his face. I think it was real. I think it was really him. Oh, was this the real Trump? Yeah, thank you, friends, for being here. Timelines are fluid, we know. Yeah, yeah, it's, and uh, I feel like right now things are jumping very quickly. That's so why I usually don't do readings on political things like this. And I think if you do get it right, then that has an effect and it changes the outcome. So we kind of shouldn't be doing that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think we have to question that if it was him. I think that was really him. <laughs> he heals up there. <laughs> it's funny. Trump always wears a tie. And Wendy, I don't think that's a uh, a good indicator. Um, it was him. I feel that it was him. And it kind of doesn't matter because what the effect it's going to have of galvanizing the people. You know, everybody thought that uh, it was going to be a crazy MAGA hat wearing guy who tries to take out Joe. And now we, we're seeing what they're really like. Well, body doubles, but they could do so much just to make it look like him if they want. How about, how about what's next for Trump? Will he continue to campaign? Arlene. Okay, Arlene. Let's just do that in general. What's next for the real Mr. T? They all have doubles, Janet. Every leader in the world has some kind of double. But uh, I think that was really Sherry Noel, Noel, do they have a message for us? Who? If he's safe and in protected and protect. Okay. Civil conflict. Are there going to be like people fighting in the streets? Is Are there going to be long lines drawn uh, between states or, or between groups, factions, uh, civil conflict in the U.S.? Is this going to lead to some kind of greater um, war of Americans against Americans? Okay, this is us. Oh, wow. So it looks like military is in, con is taking a uh, active role. There's that two of cups again. So that's telling me no. Right? No. No, it's not. It's going to have the opposite effect. So, no, there's going to be a lot of new people uh, coming over to our our side. Look, this this is a galvanizing event. This is going to, you know, I just had this thought. All of our African-American brothers and sisters out there, you know, a lot, a lot of them deal with shootings in their neighborhoods every day. Um, 
and, I, and I'm not doing this to to be prejudiced or or be biased. It's just a fact, right? And so he's been blooded in. You know, he's shed blood through gunfire. He's he's one of African American people right now are really going to be rallied by this. Like they tried to shoot him and they couldn't take him. And he got blood on his face. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. All right. So Arlene, it's not going to trigger chaos. It's going to, it's going to, bring people together that's what my card is saying the, the the two of cups it's coming up repeatedly in my cards regarding this bringing people together people from different sides you look at the two of cups and they're on the left and on the right and they're coming together they're meeting together all right and uh since there are a lot of you in the chat now. I want to tell you again about this dream I had two nights ago. Okay. <clears throat> so um, I had one of these dreams that feels extra real. It's like, it's a different feeling. It feel, it's like, it's like I'm seeing the world through somebody else's eyes or something like that, but it, but it was me. So a, like a parallel uh, world or something and in this dream I was um, being held in like some kind of compound like a like a, a camp or something like that and I couldn't leave even though there were there were no walls and no barbed wire keeping me in uh, there was some big dark figure like a like a like a a warden and I could never see their face. Every time I tried to get a good look at them, I couldn't see who they were. And every time I tried to leave, I, it was like going around in a circle. I'd end up back where I started. And then I found somebody who was another person like me, who was a, an in, like another inmate. And I asked them, how long do we have to stay here? And then when he turned and he spoke to me, I saw that he was me. And so I interpret this as he's on another parallel world and he's a shadow one of my shadow selves. And when I asked him how long we had to stay here, he said four and a half months. When I looked it up in the calendar, that brings us right to the first week of November. And I've been saying this for a long time. I haven't made many predictions about big events, world events, but I've been saying for a long time that my cards are saying and my intuition is saying that this November was gonna be something big. Um, it is, is it interesting that that other me that I was talking to in my dream, when I asked him how long we had to be there, he said four and a half months. And he said, well, four and a half months for you, longer for me. And this is why I'm thinking that on another timeline, a, a version of me made different decisions that had me that set back that timeline behind where we are now anyways i just wanted to share that dream with you uh it felt significant at the time i was planning on talking about it today when i did my live show i was supposed to be doing a reading for uh astrology our astrology reading for the week i'm not going to do that now This is, was from Phil. I know somebody said this was from Phil. Trump shot in the air. How did they know that? I don't know about that. Why has this spot not smeared space muscles moving? And now, nah. look at that. Looks to me like, 
looks to me like there's a hole in his ear right there. So, I don't know about that. Let me check the chat here before I go and see if you guys have anything else to say. <sighs> Carol, as far as the EBS goes, um, Honey and I agree that there's not going to be an EBS the way that we thought there would be. As in uh, your TVs and radios and internet all showing the same information at the same time. I don't think that's going to happen. I think we've gotten past that timeline where that could happen. One reason I believe that is because AI is so good now that nobody would believe it. They would think they would just think that uh, it was some type of deception. The only type of EBS that's going to work. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, the only type of EBS would, that would work would be something of a, almost like a supernatural nature, like um, big motherships appearing in the sky with video screens and under them, or or the sky itself lighting up as a video screen, or or uh, something that would uh, well, even that they could say that's blue beam, right? Carrie, Carrie Cassidy just had a podcast with JC saying something was well about a major happening in November. And I don't normally resonate with her. So Arlene, yeah, November. I've been getting, I've been saying November over and over again for a long time now. Something big is going to happen. I just had that dream that told me that we're all going to be free. That was what my dream was saying. That we're all trapped in this prison with no walls. And uh, and in four and a half months, we would be free from it. All right. So, yeah, I will end this now. Uh, I was hoping to get more answers for you guys. But I think I'm gonna, the main thing to take away from this is this is a galvanizing event. This is going to bring us together as a people, uh, American people. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of waking up from this, from the left and from not so much the left, because I think this, a lot of those people are so delusional, they're never going to accept anything. But from those who are sitting on the fence. All right, so I got some work to do because I messed up my live for tomorrow. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow night here with Honey. I, I hopefully, hun Honey is going to stick to our, our meeting and be here. All right, so thanks for everybody who tuned in. Um, I'm sorry for the chaotic nature of this uh, broadcast. And uh, maybe I didn't give you the answers you were looking for, but uh, this is a a big event things are really going to be speeding up now for the next four and a half four months to the election keep your vibrations high be happy it's a good time to be alive thank you for watching goodbye